Okay, what follows this intro will be highlights, I guess, of this motor's 24 hour run. It's still going now, just barely. Uh, what I've done, I've made a lot of improvements to the 11 hour run of the other day. Uh, magnets, I put that um, washer on the top there of the rotor, and I was going to use the bias magnet, but I thought I might stop the rotor spinning if I did bring it into play. But you can see perhaps the, the pulsing nature now as it goes past the reed, so I dare say there's not much time left. It's the same 1F super cap as used on the other run, and here are the voltages from this run. I've had no sleep, but it's been worth it to see a run of 24 hours. Alright, starting this run at 108, 1.028. Okay, 208, and uh, thanks to Gaiula for pointing out about the 10k resistance on the meter. I'll just plug in, and we're at 0.897. Here we are at the 5 hour point. Point 0.592. A little late with this one, but uh, 10 hours. Point four oh four, and here we are after eleven hours on this one F capacitor. Uh, so now, after here, is a new personal best. The voltage at the moment point three eight two, and here's one of the coil forms that I've made, and uh, I'll be putting different gauges on and seeing what kind of you know pick up amounts you can get um, by testing some out ok so that's uh, 11 hours plus 15 hours Let's see what the voltage is 0 0.305 here we are at 20 hours Point 0.239 ok 22 hours barely going there but uh, see so what we've got left Point 0.221 and there we are it's done 24 hours not going very fast at all now and I didn't use the biasing magnet I was going to, I thought it might just stop the thing rather than help it to run uh, with the reed metals being in the way there. You can see it slightly pulse as it goes past, so that was the idea of the biasing magnet. But uh, 24 hours and it's got 0 0.207 left on there. So this time yesterday it started its run. This is 25 and a half hours, and it's still somehow going at point two. Okay, thanks for watching.